More forensic evidence being presented in the courtroom today. News 8's Aaron Cox live outside of New Haven Superior Court this midday with the very latest. Aaron. Good afternoon, Keith. You know, the testimony is very clinical, a lot of medical terms, but certainly it still has impact on the jury. But something the Pettit family did yesterday may have had so much impact on them that the defense today says this trial should end right now. Court began with the defense lawyers for Joshua Komisarjewski actually asking for a mistrial, accusing the Pettit family of pulling a stunt. He says it was prejudicial yesterday when many of the family members stood up, leaving the courtroom, just as the chief medical examiner took the stand to testify about the death of 11-year-old Michaela Pettit. But the judge said people can leave the courtroom at will. Dr. William Pettit not in court most of this morning as testimony focused on the death of his wife, Jennifer Hawk Pettit. A medical examiner says she was raped and strangled, testifying she was dead before the house was set on fire. Her daughters, Haley and Michaela, died from smoke inhalation. Soul survivor Dr. William Pettit did return to the courtroom this morning once the medical examiner was off the stand and there were no more autopsy photos being discussed. On the stand right now is an expert from the state forensic lab testifying about all different kinds of evidence, including the clothing both Joshua Komisarjewski and the other defendant in this case, Stephen Hayes, were wearing at the time of the crime.